How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys as always. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of scythe training, so yeah. Um, let's go ahead and start with Nyx, I guess. I watched um, some scythe combo videos just because, I don't know, it was on my recommended and uh, I figured why not. Could always get better with scythe. Um, I, I saw a few combos I wanted to try. It might take me a little while to get used to it. Obviously, I'm going into fighting real people instead of training. Um, I do think training is very good. I got him barely. Not even able to use my sight. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that the uh, gauntlet ground pound beats the sight recovery like 100%. Wow, nice uh, unarmed uh, pff, down air. That was beautiful. Ooh, nice recovery, dude. I didn't even get to really try out my sight that much. This guy was trying so hard. GG, so I want to go against uh, somebody who's not a diamond just so I can practice the scythe a little more, but oh well. I guess practicing against diamonds is probably the best way to learn anyways, because in the real world, that's what you'll be facing. Slinky Spy. There's one particular easy scythe combo that I saw Egg Soup show that I... Yeah, I said that right. Egg Soup show. I wanted to try, but that guy didn't really let me do it that well. The thing about scythe is that... It's very uh, read heavy. And if you don't read, um, it's very easy to dodge out of.
Ooh, I love that move, dude. I was gonna land by that weapon I still landed by it that's a mistake that you should not make twice or even once Oh, I didn't touch. Nice play, dude. I keep thinking his name is Slime. GG, dude. Mirage is too OP. Well, I did a little bit better on the site that time. Let's do more decks. More decks, uh, I feel like I could be really good if I actually, like, tried to be good with him, but for some reason... I just don't play him that much. All right, let's see if I can do a, a scythe combo versus a bot. Oh, I didn't get a chance. All right, going against Noah. Hattori. Kill Bill Hattori, or Kill Thrill. Nice down poke, dude. Beautiful. He's trying really hard, so I gotta actually try not to be too uh, experimental right now. Off of my stage, bro. That was a nice turnaround gravity cancel down light into recovery. That's what I like to see. I uh, threw the mine there so that he couldn't go to the wall and I knew he had to back off.
GG, dude. I knew I was gonna get him with that. GG. Any last words? GP King? Ground Pound King. <laughs> yeah, well, the reason that I can Ground Pound a lot is because he was floating a lot. And when you're floating a lot, and I don't remember where I heard this advice. I think it was from Crocky. And he said, if somebody's fighting you with a floaty play style, and he was actually quoting Noel when he said, you have to fight them in the air. And honestly, a lot of the floaty people are just waiting for you to land or they're trying to read you. And if you ground pound, you have a chance to either hit them on the head, but you gotta be careful because you don't wanna ground pound all the way to the ground because then you're really easy to punish and that's what they're gonna try to go for. You wanna ground pound and then release right before you get to the end the edge rather so that way you can uh, trick them into doing a move that you can then punish I do that all the time I didn't I don't remember if I did it so much to, to, to Noah but um, but it is a, a tactic I use a lot that's the combo I was trying to do to like a real person we'll see if I can actually do it it's actually super easy to do um, I'll explain it at the end of the video. I really wish there was a Scythe uh, Bow Legend that was good. I feel like I would play that more than most of the other Scythe Legends. I don't really like that much. Mordex is pretty cool though. Going against Bearable Insomniacs too. This will probably be my last fight in this game. All right, Bearable, let's do this. Sight versus sight, bro. That was a mean growl, dude. Oh, I should have just recovered. He was in that zone to where it was like a hard read whether I had room to jump. And recover or just recover. Snipe! Got him with that tipper, that will definitely do it. He almost got back though. I'll give you credit, you almost got back. Well, <laughs> GG, dude. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any more... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me, so, let me show you the uh, scythe combos that I was trying to do. Basically, this is a egg soup scythe combo. I'll just do Mirage. That he, I don't know if he made this or what, but... He, uh, he definitely made a video about this. So you can watch his video. Um, let's go ahead and give me... Wait... Oh, there we go. I want to give myself... You can tell I don't go into Spear very often. 
let's move him about right there and let's make him uh let's do damage reset on and position reset on all right so to do this easy combo i'm not trying to steal egg soup idea or anything i'm just going to show you what i was trying to do you basically do a side light dodge all right that was kind of bad example but side light dodge forward you can either turn around neutral light or you can just neutral light like that uh, straight on And then you basically just do what I just did there. If you jump neutral air and then uh, side air, you can get quite a bit of damage on them. When you're when you're going against a bot, that's that was the combo I was trying to go for. It can do. Uh, a lot of damage if they uh, let you hit it all off. But anyways, yeah, if you guys know some more scythe combos, uh, let me know. I'm always looking for that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. You guys know the drill. This is Lucian Sword. I will see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.